Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about merge requests. So merge requests is something that you can use in GitLab when you have a branch and it's ready to be merged into your master or main branch. So in that case, you would need to um, set up a merge request and then it's for other people to know that it's ready to be reviewed. So you go ahead and go to the repository tab under branches and you could click uh, merge request. Or another way is if you created your issue from scratch, like new issue, for example, um, sample for merge. Sometimes merge request could just call MR2, so we'll call this like sample for merge request. And if I create an issue, uh, you could create a merge request like this as well. So these are the two main ways of creating a merge request. So here, um, let's go ahead and just create a merge request like this. Okay, so this will be called, it usually has a default name right here called resolve sample for MR. And then there's going to be a draft here, which means that it's still in progress. So uh, that's typically to let people know that um, it's still in progress. So basically when you're done, you could remove that. Okay, so you could write some description here and then you could put assign to someone, assign it to myself. So reviewer, you could set milestones and labels. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a merge request like this. And it's really up to your preference in terms of how you want to create your merge request. Um, but me personally, this is the way I like to create it. And you can see right now inside the merge request tab, right? Um, we can see our sample for MR, okay? So now this has showed up. So notice there's like a commits tab, a pipeline tab and changes. So um, it's good to let people see what has been added, uh, modified and whatnot. So if we go ahead and go to our VS code, I'm gonna open up my demo. So let's see how it looks like when there's changes made. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and have our git bash open. So if I say git fetch, we should see our new branch should be showed up. Okay, or branch three. So now if I do git checkout three, so now I am in sample, right? So let's say I made a new file called test.txt. And I'm just gonna type hello, Kevin. Now, if I come back here and do git status, we see that there's a test.txt file that got created. I'm gonna add it, commit, and then git push. Okay, so now that I push the changes, if I come back to here, and if I refresh this, Notice that now there is a one commit showing here and one for changes, okay? So we see our test shows commits and then our changes is right here, hello, Kevin, okay? So this is really nice because now I get to see what's happening here. And then if you modified a line of code, for example, you can also see it uh, change there as well. So in here, let's say I modified a readme and let's say I added something here. Make it easy for you to get started with GitLab. Here's a list of recommended uh, next steps. So maybe I wanna say super easy here, right? So now if I come back here and do like git add, and then I say git commit, and I'm gonna say super, Now, if I come back here to my merge request, what's really nice is I get to see the changes, okay? So inside this changes, like when uh, you look at it, you can see that this was the original line and now this is a new line, okay? So we'll talk about like code reviews in our later videos, but at least now you can see what a typical MR will look like. And let's say you're all done. Um, you could come here to edit and this is where you, you could remove your mark as draft, okay? And then once you remove that, you could save the changes. So that's how you could edit that. And notice that there's a pipelines 
tab here. Um, we're not going to go into pipelines here, but this is good for CI CD if you have some automated tests that you want to run. That's where this would go. Okay, so that pretty much summarizes a video on merge requests or MRs. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.